guys, so today I decided to do something fun but simple but something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Well, not that long, just a couple months. I decided to do like a foreign candy taste test. In case you didn't know, a few months ago I went to Italy. I actually made a vlog about my trip in Italy, so if you haven't seen it yet, click here to go see it. It was truly an amazing experience, and I would love to go back. On my way back from Italy, I realized I didn't really bring any kind of food back or anything. We had our layover in Germany, so I decided to pick up some candy in the Frankfurt airport to bring back and taste test for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the first thing I'm gonna try is a lion bar. Now these look really good, I've definitely seen these before. Um, I know there's like a lion cereal and like all that, it's really big in like Europe, the lion brand, it's from Nestle. It looks really good, it looks like it's got like wafers and chocolate, I love that kind of stuff, so. That's really good, I really like that. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm talking to my mouthful. <laughs> it's like um caramel and chocolate and then these like this is like a little wafer ball and then actual like full-on wafers in the middle. On a scale of one to five, I give it a four out of five. I'll give this one a four out of five. It's really good, I like it. The next one I'm gonna try is a Mars bar. Now we used to sell these in America, but they don't sell them anymore. But apparently they're still available in Europe. So, I don't think I ever really tried a Mars bar as a kid, so I'm going to try one now. Oh yeah, it's just chocolate, nougat, and caramel. They're really good. I keep talking with my mouthful. I love chocolate, so any chocolate's good with me. I'm going to give this one 4 out of 5. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. The next one I'm going to try is a Mr. Tom bar. Now I've never heard of these before and it's got an advertisement for Robocop on here. I'm not promoting Robocop. Now this looks kind of similar to a Payday and Payday is just caramel and peanuts and I don't really like Paydays. So, but I figured I'd give this one a try so we'll see what this one's like. This okay. It's kind of like peanut brittle. Which I'm not a huge fan of peanut brittle, but I'll have it every now and then. Um, I'm gonna give this one a three out of five. The next thing I'm gonna eat is a bounty bar. Now this looks similar to like Mounds in the US, which is uh, dark chocolate and coconut. And I love coconut, I love anything coconut. Stuff that smells like coconut, I love the taste of coconut, coconut smoothies, coconut pie, like I love anything coconut. Ah, drop some of the wrapper. I make weird noises when I drop stuff. Mmm, that's really good. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's my favorite, and I love coconut. I think this is my favorite one so far. All right, so listen, my camera battery died on the very last candy bar, so my reaction isn't gonna be as genuine, but I'm still gonna do it for you guys. Now, the very last candy bar I'm going to have is a Ballisto. As you can see, it's already opened. Again, I'm really sorry. It says uh, Muselli mix, or Muselli, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. It's spelled M-U-E-S-L-I. So, that mix. This one's pretty good. It's got like wafer and some kind of cream. So it's got one of the raisins, and I don't like the raisins in my candy bar. Who would want raisins in their candy bar? It's really weird. It's okay. I'll give it a three out of five, just because it's chocolate and I really like chocolate. So you guys are probably wondering, Gina, did you try a Kinder Egg while you were in Italy? And the answer is yes, I finally got to try a Kinder Egg. Woo, victory! I realized when we had our first layover in Germany on our way to Italy that I could finally buy a Kinder Egg. I was sitting with my friends and it just kind of hit me. I was like, we're not in the US anymore. I can go get a Kinder Egg. And so I ran to the first gift shop I could find, bought the very first Kinder Egg I saw, and ate it, and it was so good, such happiness. I could just feel my inner child inside freaking out, like, ah, there's a toy inside this chocolate! I was freaking out. I ended up having about five or six during my trip to Italy because I just was so excited and wanted to have as many as I could before I left. 
and I didn't want to try and sneak any back to the U.S. and get them confiscated. In fact, I was so excited when I had my first Kinder Egg that I took a picture of it, and you can see it right here. No shame. I love food. I would give Kinder Eggs a 5 out of 5. There's one more candy I did get to try while I was in Italy that I didn't bring back with me, but I did film my reaction, and that was Maltesers. Now, I heard a lot about Maltesers, and I really wanted to try them. So when I saw them in a vending machine, I knew I had to buy them and try them. I would give the Maltesers a 4, 4.5 out of 5. I definitely like them better than Whoppers. If you want to see my reaction to trying Maltesers for the first time, you can watch that right now. So, while I'm here in Italy, I found Maltesers, and I really want to try them. So I'm going to try them. So, okay, here we go. They're really good. They're just like Whoppers, only like more weight for me, if that makes sense. They're really good though. Well, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. All the candies I tasted were super yummy, and I would love to do something like this again in the future. If you want to see more from my channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button right down there. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me what you thought about it in the comments. That's it for now.